to cover the other lies. Verse 26, then he said to him, did not my heart go with you when the man turned back from his chariot to meet you? Is it time to receive money and to receive clothing, olive groves and vineyards, sheep and oxen, male and female servants? Elisha wasn't fooled. He knew exactly what Gehazi was up to. So here's the punishment. Verse 27. Therefore the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and your descendants forever. And he went out from his presence leprous as white as snow. So what should have been a good ending ends in a tragedy. Gehazi was cleansed and yet greed got the best of him. And he received leprosy as his punishment. Not only himself but his family received it now they have no cure so there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from second kings chapter five but i think what we can take away from this is that there are things that happen according to the natural order that have no natural cure and god doesn't always use a miracle in fact the age of miracles has ceased because we have the written and confirmed word of god we don't need miracles today. We can depend solely on the providence of God. And God may choose to provide through his providence a vaccine or something that can help us with COVID-19. But what we can take away from this is when we're dealing with something that is life-threatening, humility is the beginning of our way back. We look at leprosy as a terrible problem, and it was but something much worse than leprosy and COVID-19 is sin. Sin has no cure except through the death of Jesus, the Son of God, and the blood that he shed. And we have to come to Jesus for cleansing of our sin. And if we come to Jesus, we must come in humility. And our humility and pride must not overwhelm us to, to when Jesus asks us to do something simple we refuse to do it what Jesus has asked us to do is believe in him and be baptized to be saved Mark 16 verse 16 he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved Jesus said that so humility will allow us to believe that Jesus is the son of God and we'll be willing to confess that fact before men and our sin we recognize it we turn from it in repentance and then this penitent heart leads us to do something simple and that's to dip under the waters of baptism to contact the blood of Jesus and to be raised to walk in newness of life there's a great lesson here many others we could look to from this story but I hope this has been helpful to you today